Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, come join my Patreon to become a member, where I will begin uploading never before seen what if videos, discussions, and manga showcases. Come support the channel. Now let's get right back. What if Goten and Trunks was locked inside of the time chamber? Our story takes place during the Boo Saga, when Piccolo blew up the door as it left the three being stuck, as it was being Gotenks, Boo, and Piccolo. Now this time, Boo cannot stream a portal out there, so they are trapped inside, as during this time, Boo would be stunned and not caring to kill them currently as he's going insane, having the idea that there's going to be no candy for him to eat. Now currently, Goten would then defuse and he was crying, they were worried about it. Piccolo accepts his fate as he's like, what does it matter anyway, we're all screwed. Uh, even if Boo escapes, we couldn't even beat him. Now, Piccolo knows that the Z Fighters will soon free them, as it will be longer than 24 hours. So they do think that over time they will use the Dragon Balls, or Popo can also make a new door and lead them out. As the Z Fighters wait for 24 hours, pass, and nothing happens. Goku works with the Kais, and he actually gets his life back by Elder Kai. And he sees the door was locked and it was broken. It opens up to nothing, as he thinks Piccolo or someone must have destroyed it. Now, when Boo went in, as Goku clenched his fist in anger, he failed them. As Vegeta will be brought back to life as well, he claims it doesn't matter, as they can ask Popo for help. As he was standing there, he states that the door can be reopened, but it does take one month exactly to do so. Or they could use the Dragon Balls, but they don't have that right now. And they worry that there's no point because Piccolo could even be dead in there. Because remember, Majin Buu still locked inside of there with them. And Majin Buu is still way more powerful than both Gotenks and Piccolo. So, 31 years. They would be trapped inside for 31 years. Popo would soon, as a month would go by, and it would be torturous to Vegeta and Goku, but they have no choice. As Popo would then make a new door, Goten and Piccolo and Trunks and Majin Buu, they were trapped in there for 31 years. Now, how would they survive? Now, remember, this is a what if, so take it with a grain of salt. Now, during the, that month, aka those 31 years, Majin Buu would have been beaten by them anyways. As I'm just going to say for what if purposes, grain of salt, Fat Buu was saved and he can actually create food by his magic. So they can live off of that anyways. And Piccolo just needs water of some kind to survive. So the three know that you know they, they will come out one day. So why not just train until then? As one month would pass, Popo would fix the door as it opens. The, the four walk out. Piccolo Ma and Majin Buu looking the exact same pretty much. But Goten and Trunks was the biggest difference. They were well older men. Both being nearly 40 years old. Almost as old as Goku and Vegeta was, as Goku and Vegeta stare in shock at the two Saiyans. Goten and Trunks had tears in their eyes as they hugged their fathers tightly, as Goku and Vegeta hugged them back, happy to see they're okay. As Goku smiled seeing Piccolo, who looks around the same, since Namek can live up to nearly 500 years old, so Piccolo's perfectly fine. Now they also see the power that the two sons have grown so much stronger. Now, Goku then would then get serious and mad, seeing Fat Buu sitting there. As Goten and Trunks would stop their fathers, explaining all that happened, explaining that he's a good guy now. And as they all explain all of that, after all that's over, they then get the Dragon Balls, which they do have, and they would wish everybody back. As everyone was happy to be brought back to life, up until Bulma and Chi-Ti see their two sons, who, remember, they were, as the last time that they seen them, they were kids. Now they're fully grow grown men around their age. Explaining that they can still use the one wish, Bulma and Chi Chi demanded that they get younger, but they don't want to lose their power and they don't want to be kids, so they agree on being around 17 to 18 years of age for both, so they're in a full grown adult body still. And just as strong as everything went normal, Goku wants to see how strong the two have gotten. Same with Vegeta. As the two smirk, they would burst into Super Saiyan 3 on their own. As remember, this is Goten and Trunks. They are extremely untapped potential. They were the youngest Super Saiyans pretty much. So both of them would burst into Super Saiyan 3 on their own as they have a power or even greater than this. As they learned a lot from Majin Buu considering he does have the Supreme Kai's within him, over the 30 years alongside Piccolo and Kami and Nails also knowledge, they learned a power beyond that. As they both yell and charge, the power shaking around them, they both turned into Super Saiyan 4s, shocking Goku and Vegeta at their raw power. Power scale-wise, Goten and Trunks have amazing untapped potential, uh, seems most half Saiyans do so. Imagine training for 31 years straight. They're both equal in power, so both in Super Saiyan 4 would be around the strength of Super Saiyan Blue Goku when he fought against Frieza. 
That is how strong Goten and Trunks are. For training in the Hyperball Time Chamber non-stop, and Boo can heal them for over 31 years. Not much of a long shot. So they're beyond strong together, as they sparred with their fathers. Of course, Goku and Vegeta lost, but they were amazed at their power. As they both had a smirk and thumbs up, as a year passes, Beerus would then awaken, and he had a dream about a Super Saiyan God. As most of the events would happen the same, all up until he visits Goku on King Kai's planet. With this, Goku has a tail, as instead of Super Saiyan 3, this Goku turned into a Super Saiyan 4. His brand new power, he unlocked learning from Piccolo, and of course his sons, uh, and of course his son, and also Trunks, taught them how to actually use Super Saiyan 4 and to do it. Because of course Goku and Vegeta want to learn this power. If this is more powerful than Super Saiyan 3, it's the next level, of course they want to learn it. So, Goku turned into Super Saiyan 4 with the help of Piccolo also helping out with the form too. This Goku is of course much, much, much stronger than he was in the original, actually giving Beerus a, a pretty good fight. But Goku would still lose and Beerus would still go to Earth. Power scale wise, I think that this Super Saiyan 4 Goku is actually a little bit weaker than he would have been if he was in Super Saiyan God. Just because Super Saiyan God is a bigger boost. Anyway, and also the no God key doesn't really help out since he can't sense Beerus. And also Beerus is that OP anyway. So, they would all be at the party, all that would happen the same, and they would go to Earth where Vegeta does have Super Saiyan 4. And when Beerus has a tantrum, Goten and Trunks go Super Saiyan 4, shocking Beerus at their power. As the two would fight, they would actually give Beerus an amazing fight, alongside Vegeta would be helping. As Beerus had enough, true, they were strong, but they were not the Super Saiyan God, because there was no God Key, and you know they weren't giving him a real battle. Even though they were stronger, it's still not enough because he wants to see a god, not some primal ape, you know. So, Goku would arrive and after he was knocked out by Beerus, he would wake up and so go to Earth. All that would happen the same. And they would, using Shenron, they would figure out how to do it as they offered Goku, um, since it, they can't go into their highest power and they can just give all their power and energy into Goku's body, which might kill him, but... It's a chance they got, and Goku is the best fighter, so why not do it? And also because it's Goku. So, Goku was in Super Saiyan 4 when they did it, and he used Super Saiyan God, mixing it with Super Saiyan 4. As the Saiyan's apex form, Goku needed Super Saiyan 4 to even handle the tremendous energy inside of him. As they fought, he was actually able to make Beerus even bleed a little bit and give him a real battle. But sadly, Goku would still lose the form, but some of the god power stays within him. As Beerus was truly impressed by the mortals, he would leave Earth promising to come back and fight again, and peace was brought back to Earth. Now, in terms of power scaling wise, how powerful is Goku? He is actually still not as strong as Goten and Trunks, because they're still training, they're not like Gohan, so they're still actually stronger than they were before as it's been a year, but Goku's now able to catch up. Obviously, Vegeta and Goku are gonna go train with Whis alongside Goten and Trunks, as they are old enough, and they do wanna go learn God Ki as well. So, now, all up in space, a frost demon was brought back to life, and he swore revenge. We're just gonna gloss over the Frieza arc, and one thing that I'm gonna say is this Frieza actually does train longer as he figures out how powerful the chamber Saiyans part two our story takes off with frieza being revived as he wished to end the saiyans as three months pass he would still go to earth and train he would come to earth as this time goten and trunks would be able to handle golden frieza now obviously with some difficulty but i think that with them together they can obviously beat him. Goku and Vegeta would stay when train with Whis because they do see that Goten and Trunks are handling Frieza and they know that they can do it. Now, Goten and Trunks would be training with Whis as together, making all four of them stronger and Goku and Vegeta would be able to catch up to their sons. So yes, Frieza's dead by the way. As Universe 6 Stars happens, it would just end faster and easier considering the team is much stronger anyways. So it ends for a hit and the Universe 6, but Beerus still wishes for Planet Earth for Champa and Goku still befriends Zeno, as in future Trunks was running for his life as he was panting hard. As he was able to survive going to the past, he would explain that they've all found him, the same events happen the exact same. As a man appears from a time portal, he looked like Goku, but just with 
black clothing on, as current Goku fought this strange man to a stalemate. As the events all happened the same with this Goku Black arc, as it was so confusing with the Masu, Beerus Hakai's him, they figuring out like who's who, things like that, until Trunks is ready to finally go into the future. Goku and Vegeta go with Trunks. Now, I think that present Goten and Trunks would tag along and they would arrive with them and fight the strange man as he would finally say who he truly was. He was Goten Black, shocking them all. As they would begin fighting, Vegeta would fight against Goten Black in Super Saiyan Blue and he would overpower him. Now, Goten Black does have Zamasu, who would still join him, as Goten Black would then use Super Saiyan 4. Alongside the potential that that character has is scary. So his potential was busted as they would easily overpower all of them. As this time, they wouldn't need to escape, as remember current Goten and Trunks, they would actually do the fusion dance, and they would actually be able to defeat the, the Goten Black and Zamasu at the same time, since Zamasu was weak anyway, he wasn't really too much of a powerhouse, like Super Saiyan 2 Goku was able to beat him, uh, especially with a fusion, Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan God, that it wouldn't be much of a chance. Now, Goten Black would be the only one that would be an issue. And this also means that there is no, uh, there's no earring. So, Goten Black and Zamasu cannot do a fusion. Uh, they cannot do the Batara fusion because Goten Black does not have a Batara earring. Remember, when Zamasu took over Goku and just stuff like that, he actually killed Goku who was in Zamasu's body and he took the earring back. Well, Goten Black does not have the earring. So that's the reason why. Um, and if they, even if they did, then Goku and Vegeta can also fuse as well into Vegito, and Merge Zamasu wouldn't be able to even touch them at all anyway. So there's no way that they can truly defeat them, as you would have one Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan God and another Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. So that's the reason why. So they would actually do the fusion dance and they would turn into a Super Saiyan God. They would be able to defeat Goten Black. As for Zamasu, he would be defeated by Trunks, but he would be destroyed, but he would still surround the universe as Goku would still use the Zeno button, resulting in Zamasu being completely erased along with the timeline, which Goku would still grab the future Zeno and bring it to current Zeno. So current Zeno can have a best friend. Now, life would carry on. Goten and Trunks would now face the biggest struggle of their lives, and it was high school. Yeah. Chi Chi and Bulma agreed uh, the two boys can't be brainless idiots. Besides, they need to do school anyways, so they can be smart and not just fools. Now, Bulma, I will say this, would not worry as much, as Trunks was naturally smart anyways, and she isn't like Chi Chi, who's always pressuring studies over everything. So, Bulma, would, Bulma can just easily hire the most smartest teachers and sciences and everything because she's like, Bulma is technically one of the most richest people in the world, so she can easily do that, owning Capsule Corp. So, but Chi Chi, on the other hand, would want to enroll him in a high school, enroll him, end a story, he needs to go. Now, Trunks would tell no to Bulma, and he would actually want to go with Goten so they can do high school together. As, remember, they're still, you know, they're almost like brothers, pretty much, if they could. Uh, so they're still super close to one another, and they would go to high school. Now, this is where a lot of little goofy adventures would happen as they try to fit into high school in terms of similar to how Gohan did when he went into high school. Gohan was obviously out of place and he excelled in sports and he kind of over excelled in it. Uh, he had to deal with a couple bullies and stuff like that. I feel like the same thing would happen and the two boys would actually become really popular in school considering the good looks and their fighters and they're really strong, that kind of thing. And also too, those two guys are show-offs. They, they are. Goten is more innocent and stuff like that, but they're both show-offs, especially Trunks. So I do feel like that like cockiness and show-offness would kick in and they would definitely do that now they would still be training all that would happen the same they would still be training together they would still be having fun they would join tournaments and other fun things you know they would just experience life uh now this is where a lot of things are about to change though so and i mean the tournament of power all the stuff pretty much happens the exact same with uh goku and zeno talking and then goku brings up the idea of a tournament of power and zeno obviously wants to do it so then the grand 
Grand Priest will go to every single universe, telling them all about all the tournament power that's going to go down. Everybody's freaking out. Goku's obviously just excited to fight strong guys. Same with Goten, too. Uh, same with Trunks. Vegeta's obviously pretty worried about it because of his family. Uh, Beerus is obviously terrified. Whis is obviously... Well, Whis isn't too worried because he won't get erased anyway, but, you know, still his universe. Now, now if we are asking for how would this go down, would Frieza be actually brought here? I would say yes. Here's why. Majin Buu would still fall asleep. That would still happen. Yes, they do have Goten and Trunks, but Goku still knows that they that if we're going up against all the 12 universes, the 11 universes in total, they're going to need the most powerful beings. And Frieza is was one of them, so we just gotta do it. So Goku would still get Frieza from hell and they would still, you know, stuff like that. Obviously Frieza would have some resentment towards Goten and Trunks because they did kind of humiliate him. Uh, not only did Goku and Vegeta's sons defeat him, they were monkeys at the same time. And yeah, that would definitely destroy Frieza's pride a little bit, make him go more insane than he already is. So Vegeta would obviously not accept it. Trunks and Goten were obviously worried about it, but Beerus tells him that nothing's gonna happen. If Frieza even acts out a little bit, he'll destroy him himself anyway. So, remember Majin Buu's still asleep. They would still have pretty much all the Z Fighters. You would have Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, uh, Master Roshi, Tien, Krillin, Frieza, and Android 17. That is all 10 fighters that is needed. So, th so that's perfect. So, they would do the exhibition match to where Goku would fight Topo. Uh, obviously, Goku would defeat Topo the exact same. Uh, and he would, you know, use Kao Ken and still defeat Topo. That happens the exact same. Now, current Goku and Vegeta is actually stronger than they were the original. Not by a crazy amount, but by a little amount. The reason why is because they have their two powerful sons to train with. Goten and Trunks are actually still a little bit stronger than Goku and Vegeta. They are still stronger. At this point, they can go Super Saiyan Blue, and, and that's about it for right now. And they're actually still stronger because of their amazing potential. Now with Gohan. Gohan, remember, would still be training with Piccolo. And I do even think that Goten would also train with him as well, because he wants his big brother to be prepared for the Tournament of Power. Now, Gohan would actually be stronger. Would he be stronger than Goku? I think if with Ultimate Gohan and Blue Goku. Now, remember, Gohan just trained with Piccolo for a little while, and he was able to actually be equal to Super Saiyan Blue without the Kaioken. What I think is that this version of Gohan is as powerful as Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku, or as powerful as a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, uh, since Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and Kaioken times 20 Goku is the equal power. So Gohan is pretty much, in, in reality, 20 times stronger. So he is actually stronger than base Blue Goku and Vegeta. Now, he is not as strong as Goten and Trunks. Goten and Trunks are pretty similar to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution um, in their Super Saiyan Blue forms, but I would say that they're still a little bit stronger than that. So imagine like a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 25. They're pretty much like that. So they're like five times stronger than a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as such. So they are still really strong, but obviously when we go into the Tournament of Power, that's not gonna really matter though, in it? And going through the Tournament of Power, most of the events would happen the same just for Universe 7. It wouldn't be as severe because you have Goten and Trunks, and you also have a full team with Gohan leading it. Obviously, Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Goten, Trunks would probably leave the group to go fight on their own. Vegeta would be fighting Topo, now Goku would be fighting Jiren, and Goku would still lose. He would actually get Ultra Instinct, as even with the Spirit Bomb being amped by all 10 of the universes this time, th it wouldn't matter because Jiren is still just too strong for it, and even if he used more power, it would still overpower Goku. Now, this Goku in Ultra Instinct would actually hold up a little bit better than he actually did in the original, but he would still lose the form, and Jiren would knock him away, and he would actually be saved by Frieza, and Frieza would actually give him his energy. All that would happen the same. Now, for Goten and Trunks, they would go around and fight together, as, remember, they are like, perfect together, fighting. Uh, they're, like, a perfect combination, because they've been training for 30-plus years in Hyperbolic Time Chamber non-stop, so, I mean, what do you expect? Now... They would actually take on Dispo and Topo. Uh, Vegeta would then handle Topo, and Gohan and Frieza would then handle Dispo. As a matter of fact, this time, Gohan can fight Dispo perfectly fine by himself, as this Gohan is able to actually keep up with Dispo's speed. Now, it, now Goten and Trunks are going to go into the universe 6, and now they're going to be fighting the likes of Kaba, Khalifa, and Kale. Now, Kaba would not join as Khalifa says to back out, and Goten would fight Khalifa, and Trunks would fight Kale. And then, obviously, the two would switch. 
as Trunks and Khalifa would actually be kind of similar. They're both like a cocky attitude and stuff like stuff like that. And Goten and Kale is obviously more soft and gentle. So they would still be fighting back and forth until Kale goes into a legendary form, causing some issues. And then the two Saiyans would not hold back. They would go into their Super Saiyan 4 states, shocking them. And then they would do the fusion, which creates Kefla. Now that is when they would have to show their real power. They would actually use uh, their fusion dance and they would show Gotenks, who was obviously leagues above Kefla and it would easily be able to defeat her. So there goes Kefla, Hit would still be knocked out by Jiren, and Kaba would still fall off the ring after unlocking Super Saiyan 2 and defeating that giant ball-looking chick lady, I forgot her name. We're gonna go to the Jiren fight. Now you have a Super Saiyan Blue Gotenks, you have a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, you have a Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku, then you have Golden Frieza, Android 17, and a Ultimate Gohan. Uh, the rest would be knocked out. Now, they would all fight Jiren. Yes, they would all be fighting Jiren. Now, credited though, they are all tired after fighting over 100 plus people. So it's not like they're all going to be, you know, you know, like simple and easy. Jiren would actually have to use his full power, not Limit Breaker, and he would actually be able to defeat them. He would knock out Gohan, and he would knock out alongside Vegeta and the others. And Gotenks would soon defuse, and Jiren would knock those two out, leaving Goku, Android 17, and Frieza. Now, Goku would unlock Master Ultra Instinct in this state, and he would actually be stronger than he was before. He would actually be able to defeat Jiren up until he loses the form because of the, like, the time limit. And then Android 17 alongside Golden Frieza, or Normal Frieza, would be able to help Goku defeat Jiren the exact same way. So, there we go. The Tournament of Power has ended, and I've obviously, let's just say that Android 17 would still be get the wish, or even no matter what, he would still wish for all 12 universes to be brought back. All peace was restored. Zeno was happy, that's all that matters. And everybody was back, and the two Saiyans would then be living their lives like normal, as Earth was there with peace. Go for support now. the channel. Now let's get right back into the video. What if Goten and Trunks was trapped inside of the hyperbolic time chamber finale? Goten and Trunks would be relaxing, as most events would happen the same with Frieza fighting Broly on planet Vampa, alongside Paragus, which he wants revenge against Vegeta for what he did to them. Now, this Frieza knows how dangerous the Saiyans have gotten, as he offers to train them first to help Broly control his amazing power. And along with Frieza's amazing potential, he can grow in power much higher. Even though how much he hates training, Frieza and Broly would train together, growing in power, as Broly in his free time will still become friends with Chi Lai and Lemo. Their friendship would grow more as they have more time together as they help Broly learn to be better, as Frieza has mastered his golden form and advanced it to new levels, as Broly learned to control the great ape within him, plus the training only made him far stronger as the potential was amazing. They would arrive on Earth, Broly would go after Goku and Vegeta first. As Frieza would want Goten and Trunks, they would do rock, paper, scissors to see who would go first, as it would make Frieza annoyed kind of comically. As they think it's a game, Goten goes into battling final form Frieza. As the fight gets heated, Frieza would then turn into his golden Frieza, as Trunks would have to join in the fight. As they would be fighting him off, now for Goku and Vegeta, they are struggling against Broly. As the four Saiyans escape in time with the help of Piccolo, they have to do fusion, which Goten and Trunks was fine with it, but Vegeta was of course not. But with Trunks pleading Vegeta alongside the others, he would soon give in. As we would be fighting both Broly and Frieza by dodging all of them easily, smiling back as they would both fuse at the same time. As the two fusions were born, they would nod and split up to fight Frieza and Broly. As Gogeta handled Broly, they went into Super Saiyan Blue, Gotenks went into Super Saiyan 4. Handling Frieza as Gotenks was in a heated battle with him. They would soon be able to defeat Frieza. And remember, Frieza was getting more tired as they've just been fighting Whis at the same time. But for Broly, he's a limitless pool of power. Now, Gogeta would actually be having a much more harder time since Broly is in his legendary Super Saiyan form at full strength. Not to mention, Broly does have higher potential than Frieza. Attack me in the comments, it's fine. But Broly does have higher potential, not to mention he's been training with Frieza, a power level like Frieza for, for a couple weeks to even a month. So Broly is far stronger than he was in the original. Now he would be able to damage Gogeta Blue as Gotenks would join in and their fathers and, and the father and son fusion would face the legendary monster Broly. It would shatter reality with their power as they would both charge a Kamehameha together, shooting it at Broly and Broly was going to die. 
Lai. But luckily, Chi Lai sent Broly back to Vampa with the help of Shenron. As the two fusions smiled, knowing what happened, they didn't think Broly was a bad guy in anger. Frieza would kill Paragus. As Frieza would limp back to his ship, injured, he would fly off, saying that it's not over yet, Saiyans, and he would leave as Whis would arrive with Bulma delighted at how powerful they were when they worked together. As they defused, Bulma would be hitting all their heads angry at how dangerous that was and how they could have been killed. Jody and Trunks had a ton of fun going all out. Now, Vegeta was obviously having his back to everybody, facing, you know, facing away from you, scoffing the usual Vegeta that we all know and love. So, luckily, Broly would then be with Chi Lai and Lemo in his cave, when Goku would arrive with the help of Bulma, he actually had supplies to give them a home, and tons of food, and supplies, and some sensu beans as well. Goku wants to fight Broly on his own one day, and train with him. As Broly smiled, Goku waved off and said to call him Kakarot as he instant transmissions away. As for Goten and Trunks, they were still in high school. Now they were thinking about taking the mantle of the great Saiyan man, but that's just Gohan's thing anyways. As they finished school, of course Chi Chi and Bulma were delighted they had a big party for them, as pretty much all this time would skip to the events of the Moro arc. Now, this time, Goten and Trunks would be able to do much better to help with Piccolo. Remember, Piccolo is also far stronger as well. As Piccolo was one of the people trapped in the hyperbolic time chamber, he is far stronger than he was in the original. Way stronger. Piccolo would be able to handle most threats by himself. Now, with Goten and Trunks helping him, Piccolo would say that he can handle this no problem, they need to go help their fathers. So Goten and Trunks nodded, and they would go help their fathers, who was very much struggling against Moro. Remember, Moro has the ability to absorb ki and eat planets, he's the eater of worlds pretty much. So Goku, even in his Master Ultra Instinct, wasn't able to hold off against Moro very well, especially when Moro absorbed one of the angel attendants uh, Goku was in a major, major, major pickle. Now, remember, Vegeta couldn't really do much because Vegeta only had Super Saiyan Blue. Even if he had Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, it wouldn't help. Now, Goten and Trunks would arrive and they would try and help Goku. They would actually do the fusion dance and go into Super Saiyan God. And that would be enough to be almost near the power of, of Master Ultra Instinct Goku, who had unlocked more of his power with the help of, with the, help of the new angel. Now, but along with Goku and Gotenks as well, they would be able to defeat Moro finally, and Moro would soon be gone. So peace would finally be brought back, but now this is when more crazy stuff's going to happen. This is when, especially when we get into the Granola arc, some stuff would change. Now remember, Goten and Trunks would help Goku and Vegeta fight Granola. Now, Granola is extremely powerful. But against Master Ultra Instinct Goku and Ultra Ego Vegeta and Goten and Trunks at the same time, Granola would have a really difficult time. Now, when Granola made the wish, will that actually just make him stronger but drain his life force a little bit more? I would think so. Because remember, they're all stronger, so Granola actually is stronger than the original. But it's four against one now, instead of two against one. And that does add up sooner or later. So. Uh, Granola would actually have a bit of a hard time handling all of them coming at the same time, and he would sooner or later start to lose the battle, but then Gas and his little team would appear, and they actually made the wish for Gas to be the strongest now, so now he's even surpassed Granola. Now, most of the beatdowns would happen the same with Granola absolutely getting annihilated. Uh, same with Vegeta, Ultra Ego, same with Goku, and Goten and Trunks would get the same punishment too. As they were running out of options though, Goku would tell Goten and Trunks that they need to do fusion. If they do fusion, they will actually become way more powerful and have a good chance. They would nod, and they would actually go into their fusion, turning into Gotenks. This time, they would actually turn Super Saiyan Blue. It's a new power that they learned from Whis. Although, the form is not perfect as it does strain stamina pretty bad, but it's the, it's the strongest form that they have now, so what else do they got to lose? So, Goku would then use his own version of Ultra Instinct, as we've seen in the original manga, to where he is actually stronger now, and Vegeta would be an Ultra Ego. And Granola, I think, would be also be healed, and he would be pretty much back up to almost full strength, and they would all attack Gas. Now remember, 
gas is still way more powerful than the original and gas has drained more of his life force meaning that as soon as gas showed off his power he turned into that like hollowy moro looking old like you know old moro looking creature so he's still he's actually older now looking his life force is more drained now gas would actually have a hard time fighting off all these fighters because remember it is five fighters and they're all strong granola is pretty much the strongest out of them and they're all attacking him at the same time gas would have too much of an issue now if we are going to also throw in his other team they're not much that they could really do other than just try to protect them but i do feel like the fight would still be extremely bloody and heavy all the five fighters either goten trunks uh, granola goku and vegeta would all be in their base forms beyond exhausted and battle damage and bleeding and gas would be the same thing now gas is is really angry because remember he lost a fight against bardock all those years ago and now this feels like the same thing and repeat so he would actually do he would use more of his life force and he would show off the final ex, like like the, the final push of his power now for goku and vegeta they're running out of options but then Goku has an idea. I need to master the Ultra Instinct again. And he would go into Master Ultra Instinct and he would use his giant key, giant character. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's almost like a spirit. And he would actually be able to use that to really injure uh, Gas and hold him off. As Goten and Trunks would be able to go fight Gas's uh, henchmen and he would they would actually kill them so they don't cause any more shenanigans. Now, as for Vegeta, Vegeta would then be healed and he would try to help Goku as much as he can. Gas would soon be defeated and all five of them would shoot their final attack and it would completely obliterate Gas. And that is the end of this what if. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers and make sure to join the Discord as well and look out for the manga. It should be coming out next month. I know I extended it another date, but we want to make sure that it is as good as possible and we're getting panels done left and right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you all later.